see. Let's check the um, information on this Mac. So we'll do a memory check. So right now we, we can't have eight gigabytes of memory and the maximum it can handle is 32. So we're going to change those four gigabytes into eight gigabytes each slot totaling um, 32 gigabytes of RAM. So guys, this is a 27 inch iMac with a 5K resolution. So right now, um, we're going to take out this um, cord here. Um, the reason for that is the access for the uh, RAM is up here on top. Let me show you real quick. Yeah, right there. So what we need to do is take out this cord and the access for this RAM slot is right here. So we're going to take this out, okay? So right now, if you can see, there's a button up here. Let me show you this one right here. We need to press that one so that small door up here would open up. That is the door for the memory card. Yeah, it'd be easier to push it using a, a tool. Yep, it's really little hard to. Okay, let me just move that screen a little bit. There you go. Did you hear that click? Clicking sound. And there's the slot up there. It opened up for me. And then uh, this thing came back out so there's a spring system to it so it's something that you can take out for oh, right there so there's a direction on how you put in the slot so First, you need to um, tug it sideways so that the uh, memory card would come out. And then push it back in as you finished. Okay, so we'll do that. Let's try and do it right now. There you go, it came out. So this ring goes out to the um, probably slot up there. It holds up the whole rack of um, rams. Okay. These are the memory cards that we're going to use today. And before I bought them, I match it with the type of memory cards that my computer uses so it has to match okay and i can probably talk to you about it later on so they do have a certain um, size certain numbers that you need to follow okay so currently i do have two memory cards in this um, computer let me just take it out okay maybe I should take it out with one hand okay one just came out Okay. The other just came out as well. So let's put on this two. Let's put on the four ram. See? Right now it's empty. Let me show it to you. Empty slots. See that?
Let's start from the bottom because it's the easiest one to do. Slot number one. Okay, slot number two. Good. I think the other one is still out. Yep, still loose. There you go. Yep, you can feel it. It's flushed. If it's not, then it's not. Okay. If you feel it, um, flush then it's correctly fitted but if it's not if you feel like there's a bump all the cards are not flush you would know there's a problem of how you place the cards hmm, it's a difficult one this one is not aligned so I guess it's not coming in correctly okay There's a problem with the one. There you go. If you heard that click, it's good. <laughs> it only means it went in correctly. So, we're going to put this back in like that. Oops, wait. This one is moving i don't know how i'm going to hold this okay just like that there you go everything is back in and then we're going to put back the yep it's flushed so right here we're just going to put it that way we're not going to flip it It should pop right in. Okay. Okay, this is difficult. So everything is seated nicely. Um, the door of the uh, memory card slots, the RAM are all um flushed closed up nicely so we're done we're just gonna plug it in and we'll see how the memory works okay we should get a 32 gigabyte memory compared to the 80 gigabyte memory initially that we have so right now we do have a 32 gigabyte memory card installed so we'll test it out awesome everything's working fine <laughs> okay guys let's test, test out the computer 